Hello and welcome to the Catamount Football Show with Coach Matt Land. I'm Bill Mayo and this week we're going to take a look back at last week's game with Alatoona and also talk about the upcoming contest with the Osborne Cardinals. So stay right here back with more Catamount Football in just a minute. You know what makes Carpet Express different from other foreign companies? We care about you so that you can make the right choice for your home at Carpet Express, we offer carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, ceramic tile, and luxury vinyl tile. We don't only sell you a product. At Carpet Express, we offer quality installation backed by a warranty. We don't stock one or two products. At Carpet Express, we stock up to 100 different products in each category at affordable prices. So come to Carpet Express where we care about you. I'm Kelsey with the Chick-fil-A here in Dalton, and we're partnering again this year with the Dalton Quarterback Club to provide you an awesome tailgate meal each home game starting at 5.30. Be sure to be here by 6 o'clock for the catwalk and get your Chick-fil-A meal with Coke products sold separately. Chick-fil-A of Dalton reminds you to eat more chicken. And go be great! Oh, that's Cooper. Most people like to adopt the younger dogs. But one day your time will come, huh, Cooper? Sweetheart, what about this puppy? Honey puppies. Mommy, Daddy, that's my puppy. The Coldwell Banker Homes for Dogs Project has helped find homes for thousands of shelter dogs. How's your tea? Because our agents don't just understand real estate. They understand what home is all about. All right, Coach Lane, let's talk a little bit about Alatoona. Uh, difficult outcome, not what yeah. we wanted. Yeah. Uh, but I thought the first drive was really kind of a microcosm of the whole game, right? Absolutely. We, Absolutely. we zip right down to the 10-yard line, yeah. and then we back up to the 40-yard yeah. line. Yeah. And don't get any points. Second week in a row. So yeah. Did the same thing against Sprayberry. So, yeah, it's, it's frustrating because you see how hard we worked all week. You see how hard the coaches worked, players worked. Certainly felt like uh, what the game plan that we had put together from an offensive standpoint and from a defensive standpoint uh, were, were, would not only be effective, would certainly be exactly what it took to win the game. And I think as you went through the game, it kind of bore itself out. Certainly our, our offense did a good job of confusing at times, moving the ball when we needed to, right. mixing the throw in with the run, thought that went well. From a defensive standpoint, certainly we did a little bit different thing with our upfront guys uh, just to kind of keep them from being able to just bead right down on us. And it certainly created some opportunities for us in our run blitz game, made some big plays, some big stops, that it just seemed like in those moments that we had to have it, we'd make a mistake. That, uh, right. that, that was just too hard to overcome, whether it be a, a, a penalty, um, you know, a drop pass, a, a missed assignment, uh, a missed block, a missed tackle, whatever it might. And uh, you just cannot do that against these kind of teams. You, you can do that against a lot of your schedule. Right. But these kind of games, Harrison, Sprayberry, and certainly Altoona, you can't do that. You can't. you got to play. I, I hate to say you got to play perfect. But you almost have to play perfect when you're not playing with the depth and maybe not right. playing with the experience that you're playing with some of these other teams. Speaking of depth, why don't you talk a little bit about how you thought Landon's first game back yeah. after five weeks out. Yeah. Uh, certainly a lot of good things and, and, and some things that you know want to improve on, but first game in the live fire, right? Absolutely. It's good to have him back. And yep. I know that you know, we, we, that was the first contact that he had. We really didn't push it this week. Uh, or last week, we kind of let him last week, uh, was kind of a testing stage. Mm -hmm. And then going into this week, we spent a little bit more time actually within the play uh, sheet and, and trying to, okay, can you make these passes and all that? And certainly there were some struggles. There were some things that we were working on, uh, you know, as far as a little bit of dust, timing, things right. like that. We saw the same thing with Hunter on the outside. Certainly ran some good routes and stuff like that, but you could tell he'd been missing for six weeks. Talk about the, the play that, that you and I both kind of pointed to with Lane and that we thought, Boy, that, that. Oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think you'll see it in the highlights. Yeah. It has to be one of our highlights. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a situation where we call it certainly a, it's a play-action play. He goes back uh, and, and feels the pressure immediately. We've given him the instructions of, hey, just get rid of the ball. We'll live for the next down. And unless it was third down. It, yes, third down. So unless it's fourth down, just get rid of the ball, and right. we'll figure out what that next thing needs to look like. But you see him step up into the pocket, and I think we all, about the same time, kind of came on the thing and said, oh, he's going to run it. And he does. And not only does he run it, 
as he's running, you'll see him look over, finds the sticks, see where he's got to get. And he doesn't just run in the slide. He dives for it to get it. And, you know, those, when you, as a coach, you look for those things. I know Coach Long, our quarterback coach, that was the very first thing that he kind of said to me was, hey, Coach, that, that, that's good. That's there. Absolutely. That's what we want. And I think that maybe even eased his mind a little bit. Because, you know, when you're playing with, a, with an issue with your spine, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking as a player, you're going to have some worries. So I think that kind of – Kind of said, okay, we're good. Let's get out there and play. So anyhow, we, we I, I'm excited about how he played, about how our offense responded. Certainly, like I said, there, there's some mistakes that we got to clean up. So, you know, sh- some passes right. that were maybe short or whatever. I think we'll bust that rust off this week, get a few more. And uh, like I said, I look to see our, our offense and our defense be much improved this week. Certainly credit to Coach Varner and his staff. That's a that's a well disciplined, well coached football absolutely. team, right? A lot of good yeah, athletes. Yeah, absolutely. We will, and I think you just said it. it Usually, you play one or the other. You right. play a team that has a lot of athletes, or you play a team that's disciplined. Uh, very rarely do you see both. And certainly, Coach Varner does an outstanding. We saw it with Harrison. And I think that's the challenge of our region. Right. Every week, in fact, somebody just texts me this weekend and said, Coach, I've been to see you play about six games this year. It seems like every game is a playoff game. And the truth is, the quality of the coaching, the quality of athletics, the depth of the chart, it is. It's like a playoff game every week. When you win a game in our region, it. I mean, it's work. It's not. It, 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 is, it is not easy. It is not. Uh, every every game. I don't care who it is. It's it's a battle. To, to win a game in our well, region. Well, every, every team has an opportunity. We yeah. talk about South Cobb. Surely they're a team that you know. You, you look at records and they're struggling. But you're talking about a team that has three to five D one players on it. That at any one play. I mean, defensively, I know looking at those teams, they got three guys on the field that can go the distance on you at any time. Right. And so if you're not playing, you can't take a playoff. If you're not playing discipline, they're going to cook you. And like I said, hats off to our defense and our offense by just getting and special teams just basically every week getting up for the for basically it's almost like playing the same team over right. and over again right. so you know good to see these guys getting better absolutely let's take a break we'll be back after these messages Hi, my name is Charles R. Hicks Sr. I'm the owner of Transformers Transmission Complete Auto Repair Specialist and we are excited. It is football season. Another thing that we're excited about is our new facility opening here at 844 Sugar Road in Dalton, Georgia. Our other location at 815 East Walnut Avenue is still open to help continue your car service. So just give us a call at 706-529-2706 and from the Transformers family, God God bless bless and have have a beautiful beautiful day. day. With VidLink, OptiLink's exciting new entertainment platform, you will have the freedom to stream VidLink content on multiple devices, even when away from home. Plus, with VidLink, you can access the widest array of content on the market. You'll get great features like restart, replay, cloud-based DVR storage, all HD programming, and so much more. Contact us today to see how you can get linked to the next big thing in video entertainment. Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com Back on the Catamount Football Show with a very special guest. We got Mr. Chuck Harris. Chuck, thanks for coming on. Good to be with you, Bill. Good to be with you. All right. So you've got a unique perspective on Catamount Football from a, a long way back. You know, talk about it as a player, uh, then as a parent. And then in your role as a chaplain, I mean, you've got a lot of different views on this thing. So let's kind of back up. Talk about your playing days and uh, kind of what got you involved in the program. Okay. Uh, when I was eight years old, I had a man named Pete Colston took me to a uh, Dalton High banquet. And I was up in the north end of the county. <coughs> Excuse me. And so when I got to about the eighth grade, they decided I need to come and give it a shot. So... Uh, I played as a freshman uh, in 1969, that's when I started, and of course, uh, Catamount football was more than just football to me. Uh, Coach Chappell was, uh, kept me out of trouble, (laughs) helped me graduate, 
You, you say that a lot. Right. I mean, he, that's not something you say lightly, right? I mean, he was really a difference in your life. He was a big difference. I yeah. grew up without a dad, and I was pretty uh, mixed up. And uh, I actually lived with him for a couple of weeks. And uh, so he helped me uh, just in all kind of ways. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just an ordinary player. wasn't a great player, but, uh, you know, the catamount tradition is you take somebody that's uh, – uh, maybe good, and you make them better, and that's kind of what happened to me. And then I got to go into Georgia, and then later my son Caleb played, and so right. as a dad, uh, that was harder than it was as a player. Uh, but but it was a good experience. And then I've been the chaplain twenty something years, and uh, it's just been a big part of my life. You know, I've seen what young men can become. And, uh, you know, I've seen what it means to win, right. be, be better than you really are. Uh, we didn't know that we had any character, but we, uh, we found out later that, you know, uh, football helped us. And just being a part of the uh, program, being a chaplain, working with the guys, helping the guys, on and off the field. Uh, so, so back up a minute. Go back to as a player, you know, the relationships that you developed. Uh, obviously with, with your coaches, but with your teammates. I mean, how important are those to you to this day? Oh, those, you know, uh, Ricky Townsend was our quarterback, and Keith Whitworth was a tailback, and, you know, Randy Bramlett went to uh, Georgia with me, mm -hmm. and Randy Gordon played right beside me. And, you know, those are the best football years of my life. That's, right. That, for me, that's better than college. Your friendships are lifetime friendships. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Again, uh, coming from not such a good home situation to be a part of a team and to be accepted by guys, uh, that's big, and it's big even to this day. Well, one of the things you've said to our kids over the years, and, and, and one of the things about the Red Jackets, right, what, that it makes everybody equal. It does. I, uh, of course, like everybody else, I, you know, uh, remember looking at those Red Jackets and but when you get one, you realize that uh, the purpose for it is whether you come from that side of town, which I did, or this side of town, uh, whatever you got, what colors your skin, uh, we all felt like that we were treated the same. We felt like if you were good enough, you played. There wasn't any favoritism. And uh, I never realized how great that was until I got to college <laughs> <laughs> right. and, and found out I was a little different right. in college. But uh, Coach Chapel really uh, uh, leveled the playing ground, and I think these coats were his ideas, and uh, we wore them with pride. And, and I think what, what's, I guess, maybe unique about that, 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 has, that philosophy has stuck around this program and with this program. Whatever the demographics are, it doesn't matter. Those kids are wearing those, those red jackets on Friday, and... The, the idea and the purpose is the same this day, right? Right, yeah. Just that, uh, you know, you're, you're a part of something bigger than yourself. You're a part of something that's uh, been going on a long time. And it's a real privilege, you know, to wear the red coat. And so you take pride in it. You, uh, uh, the other guys that read the, wear the coat, you know the price they've had to pay uh, to be on the team. Right. And uh, so that's carried, you know, I've been involved 50 years, I think. Wow. And uh, it's been the same all the way through. Yeah. So now fast forward a little bit with your son playing. How, how hard is that? I've been that, down that same path uh, watching your son out there play. It, it, it's harder than when, when, when you did it, right? Oh, it was. And my son was a lot better than I was. He was a good player. He had a uh, bad injury when he was yep. a sophomore, dislocated his hip. Down at Rome. I, I was doing radio. I remember that yep. night. Uh, and, but to watch him... Uh, uh, you know, do well, then get hurt, and then try to come back. And, and of course, you're always trying to be a good dad and yet support the coach. <laughs> when, uh, but uh, that was, that was a, a neat experience for me, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Caleb played the last year that Coach Chapel coached. And so he got to play for my coach one yeah. year, and that was just super special. Absolutely. And uh, so that, that was... Uh, that was hard, but it was good. It was fun. Yeah. So let's talk about what you do now. One of the things that uh, you do on Fridays that, that a lot of people may not know is you, know, you come and you talk to our team just about every Friday before pregame meal, uh, do a devotion. But also you, have, you really have a good message. And what I like about what you do is you, a lot of times you don't sugarcoat things. <laughs> t t t talk about that a little bit. I mean, you. 
Well, it's just say what needs to be said, right? Yeah, you know, and, and I guess uh, that was the the way I was, you know, coached and in this program. You know, you Coach Chapel didn't give out too many compliments. <laughs> and, you know, he told it the way it was. And, and I think with kids, uh, you know, uh, that whole thing of getting out of them, more that's in them, and having to step up. And, you know, sometimes you got to get in – in uh, people's face, and uh, you don't want to demean anybody, but you, right. you do want to try to pull it out of them. So, you know, I've uh, right. screamed and hollered and done the best I could. Well, you've done great, and it, and we look forward to you uh, every time every time you come and speak to our kids. Another thing that you've done a lot of in the past, off and on, in different groups of kids, uh, you've put together some work crews. Talk. Tell us about that. We have. You know, when everybody was getting a mentor, then we took five or six guys. And uh, we uh, started a work program on Saturday. Mm -hmm. These guys didn't have any way to get around job. We stayed with them for about six or seven years. We saw them grow. They learned how to plant a garden. They learned how to work. Uh, many of them will, uh, I'm still in contact with them. Jamel just had a, a new baby girl. And he wanted me to come up to the hospital. And, and uh, so it's been good to get in, involved in their lives. Because I know a lot of them have a home life like I had. Right. And in any way you can step in and try to be a little bit of a father figure and make things better. Mm -hmm. that's, that's been probably my favorite part of this whole thing. Right. That, and that, that was such a neat thing you did. We enjoyed hearing those kids talk about it and what you did with them. Now, your, your job now, or your job, is, is you're an FCA Local director, is that the right title? Or? Well, I'm really a field representative. Field representative. Yeah, Dave Grusnick is the head okay. guy. And so basically, I'm tasked to try to uh, share the gospel and minister. we got like 108 male sports teams. Of course, you can't get around to all those. Right. This year... Uh, and you don't work just with Dalton in that role. You're, you're with multiple schools. Schools, yes. We have, we have seven high schools, nine middle schools. So... Uh, in Whitfield, Murray County. But this year, I'm trying to focus more uh, on Dalton, and, and every year it's kind of a little bit different, mm -hmm. trying to maybe uh, uh, spend more time with coaches. And, uh, but it's just been a, it, it's been a great ride to, uh, you know, to especially you know, when you're out there on the field, you smell the grass, the guys are sweaty, and right there in their arena. Right. You can try to share some truth with them, encourage them, and uh, it's been a great privilege. How about the, the FCA is not a uh, uh, funded program. I mean, you've got to, you guys have got to get out, raise money. That's another side of it, right? It is, and uh, it's a little different for me uh, because uh, I'm not really a fundraiser. Okay. <laughs> So I pretty much told them, said, look, y'all raise the funds. <laughs> and I'll do the work. Yeah, and I'll do what I can do. Okay. So that's been easier for me. A lot of yeah. people in the community have supported me uh, And that's what I want to get to is, is if, if somebody wants to help support FCA and Chuck Harris, they can contact you, right? And, and, or yeah, contact, contact FCA. Dave. And, and yeah. what I try to do is keep my name out of it right. and just say, look, support FCA. Right. And I'm just part-time. But, uh, you know, they helped me some financially. And uh, we've got a uh, – FCA has got a good name uh, all around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, Les Steckel, who was the president, said at one time at our banquet that we have the strongest FCA in the country in this area. Oh, wow. And uh, so it's been good. You know, we've got a lot of good coaches. Yeah. And uh, a lot of good coaches that, you know, will receive the help. Anytime you can help a coach's team, you know, uh, makes them look good in, in the eyes of the, the parents and the administration. And, uh, you know, FCA is all about to and through the coach. And uh, so that's what we want to do. We don't want to get in the way. We don't want to try to be a coach. We just want to come alongside and, and do it, what it, we can do. It's a really glamorous job. I mean, I remember you over <laughs> – oh, we were at FCA camp over in uh, Gainesville, and it's about 900 degrees, and you're out there – with a cooler bringing around Gatorades and waters for everybody and just sweating, you know, I mean, it, it, you, you, you're willing to take on just about any task. Watermelons, I love when you, we love when you bring the watermelons bring the for watermelons. the kids. Yeah. Well, and again, you, it's, it's a servant role. Right. You know, it's, uh, you're not out there to uh, lead except 
accept by example and try to, you know, if the kids can learn, look, if I can serve, I don't, you know, if I, I don't have to be the greatest, but if I serve, I probably will become, you know, that. And right. so you just try to model it the best you can. Well, we'll close up, but I just want to say we certainly appreciate everything you have done for Catamount <laughs> football as a player, as a parent, as a chaplain, and your continued role. Uh, 50 years of being involved in this program is, is uh, that's quite a statement on, on what you believe in. And uh, what, what is it, what's the song you like to tell them to sing? <laughs> Let's close that with that. You don't close that with yeah, that? Yeah, close that with I that. I can't remember when I first heard that, but, you know, it's... I remember singing it on the bus. The, yeah, we are the catamounts, the mighty, mighty catamounts. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are, so we say we are the catamounts, the mighty, mighty catamounts. Sang that a bunch of times on the bus. Sang it a bunch of times. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank we'll you. be back with more in just a minute. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. At Engineered Floors, we make sure better is in every detail. Technology has always been the foundation of Engineered Floors, pushing past what we believed was possible. Rather than having several buildings for each part of our manufacturing process, we put everything under one roof, from beginning to end, which means easier production, faster turnarounds, and better work environments. When it comes to the environment, we've taken extra care to leave a smaller footprint, especially as we grow. Stain resistant, pet friendly, durable, beautiful, guaranteed. We create our flooring with our customers and their daily needs in mind. We are invested in this community and the economy that has been created by the industry we love. And after all of this, we still know that we can do more. As long as our customers need us, we'll continue to fearlessly pursue better. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Back to Catamount Football, we've got our coaches interview segment. We've got Coach Cole Bennett. Coach, thanks for coming on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Coach So, Mayo. So let's address an issue right here. You don't have a red jacket. Yep, yep. So, this is true. so explain where your red jacket is and, and well, who has it. Uh, yeah, funny story, Osbaldo Beltran. Our, who grew uh, uh, <laughs> astronomical <laughs> yes. you know, over the few years. He, uh, he outgrew his jacket, right? right? And since I was the only one on staff closest to him, I lent him my jacket two years ago. And <laughs> I'm hoping he brings it back to me in one piece, although I heard rumors that it's not in good shape. Well, yes, because so <laughs> he's gotten bigger. Yes, he has gotten bigger this year. <laughs> so, And that kind of leads us into one of your roles with the program. Talk about why he's gotten bigger and your role in the, with the weight program and what goes on with all the, all the stuff you guys do. I work in the weight room with uh, uh, Coach Thompson, you know, kind of number two man there. And... Uh, Ozzy is one of those guys that he's really invested and bought in and worked really hard. And all the kids work hard, uh, but some of them do a little bit extra. You know, they really take heart when we talk about sleep, nutrition, hydration, and stuff. And he's one of those guys that he's gotten some looks. You know, he's committed to Tennessee Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, got a little taste of that, and that just pushed him farther and harder in the weight room to, you know, get his weight up, get his strength up, and uh, it's obviously paid dividends for him. I think you bring up a good point. It what you guys do is more than just get in there pushing around weights, right? Talk about the whole program. I mean, you address some of it there, but there's the nutrition aspect, stretching, the run. I mean, all the things that go into that, that whole program. Yeah, ironically, the weight, it, the weight portion, while that takes up a lot of time, it's actually fairly lower in the focus in terms of what we try to get across to the kids. We're always talking about, you know, getting in the bed, putting your phone up, 
uh, eating, uh, drinking plenty of water. The kids are, are bad about not drinking water, so we're always on them about that, different ways to hydrate, make sure their uh, sodium uh, content and intake is high enough so they can retain the water and stay hydrated. Uh, and just all the different aspects that go into recovery, which is really where the, the work that you did in the weight room pays off. And you guys aren't learning, you and Scott aren't learning this off the uh, back of a box of Cracker Jacks, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> talk, t talk about the, 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 I guess, the certification, the training, what you guys do to keep yourselves current and keep up with, with the latest technology and current developments. It, it started with a USA Weightlifting, and uh, we got certified in that. Uh, uh, it was probably about 10 years ago. And that just kind of started the ball rolling. We, you know, we go to strength clinics every year. Uh, we're always trying to get in contact with strength coaches, uh, not just football coaches. Uh, we had a guy come in that used to be the Georgia Southern baseball uh, strength and conditioning coach. And we're all the time reaching out and looking for different things. And uh, we'll also, one of the things we've started doing is as some athletes have gone out and played different places, you know, Matt Hughes playing golf in Alabama, whenever Kyrick comes back from Northwestern mm -hmm. or Jordan McKinney at Georgia, you know, the first thing Coach Thompson and I do is, you know, let us see your workouts, let us see the manual, let us see what you're doing. And we're always at the time trying to steal, uh, steal is a bad word, but do basically take where we can, learn Absolutely. as much as we can, and then incorporate that for the kids. And when you tell the kids, this is what Georgia is doing, all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, you're not just, you know, making us do something weird like yoga. You know, this is actually beneficial. Major colleges are doing this type of thing. So let's talk about on the field. You and I worked together with the offensive line. You were, you were kind of an offensive lineman, uh, closest as you can get without yeah, being one, yeah, right? Yeah. Being a tight end in college. Yeah. So talk about your perspective from, from that position to now working with not, not only with tight ends, but also with the tackles and guards and centers and the whole group. Yeah, uh, tight ends obviously close to an offensive lineman in the era that I played in there in the mid-2000s. Uh, spread was still a, somewhat of a novelty. You know, you had Florida running it and some mm -hmm. teams, you know, in the Pac-12 or Pac-10 at that time. But it, we were running the ball downhill, zone, a lot of power schemes. So we spent probably 70, 80 percent of the practice with the offensive linemen. So, right. it, but I, I just come at it from a different perspective uh, because of what uh, my position coach, who's the OC at LSU now, the way he taught us uh, and I think the two of us working together, it makes a good blend uh, from our different backgrounds and the different ways we can look at the same problem and have slightly different solutions, which is good when you've got five to seven guys that, you know, that need to be talked to sometimes differently uh, across the board. Absolutely. Uh, you know, a lot of, there's a, a lot of things happening on every play with those five or six guys. And we, we've, this year we've run a lot of six offensive line formations. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know, you know we, whether Idre or wh whoever it is is in a hippo or on the end and unbalanced stuff, and so that that's been a that's been a unique thing for us to have all to have all six of those guys out there at one time. Absolutely, and it, you know I never would have thought we would have had a tight end set with an offensive lineman, right. but it's you know it's one of the best things that we've had come out of this season uh, with Christian Morgan being able to to flex out to tight end and then moving Ozzy back and forth and Manny and then Brant mm -hmm. pulling and uh, Saul playing center and like you already mentioned, uh, Idre kind of being the flex guy right. to be able to do a lot of different things and then we've obviously, uh, Fabio Garcia been able to, to rotate him in as well but we've been incredibly blessed and lucky to have a group like that so that when you do get one that's banged up, uh, they can all play multiple positions and we can you know, still put a good group out there uh, to compete on Friday that, night. That's key, being able to mix and match those guys, different positions. All right, before we wrap up, talk about your family, update us on the squad of, of uh, hooligans you have in your house. Uh, up three hooligans now, yes. nine, six, and two. The, uh, the older two play your favorite sport, soccer. I know you, I, I like to keep you updated Absolutely. on the rest I of that. I am riveted on those updates. So I, I keep you uh, in check there. You know, they're transitioning now into basketball season. And the, the smallest one, he just can't stand it because he wants to do everything the other ones do. Uh, but they are full tilt all the time. There's never a dull moment in our house. And then how about Lindsay that holds the whole thing together? Yeah, she's a, she's a smart one. You know, keeps everyone in line, uh, keeps us well fed. Uh, she's all the time uh, looking at different ways to, to sneak vegetables in there and <laughs> stuff. And so she's got herself a little online following of ways to pack lunches and stuff to, to make them eat healthy balanced diets so that they're growing and getting after it. So, so they get Little Debbie's and Ho-Ho's at the uh, same only, time? Only, only when I take them to the gas station <laughs> and then we can, we can sneak treats in. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for everything you do. Appreciate you coming on the show. Well, thank you. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back in just a few minutes.
know what makes Carpet Express different from other flooring companies? We care about you so that you can make the right choice for your home. At Carpet Express, we offer carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, ceramic tile, and luxury vinyl tile. We don't only sell you a product. At Carpet Express, we offer quality installation backed by a warranty. We don't stock one or two products. At Carpet Express, we stock up to 100 different products in each category at affordable prices. So come to Carpet Express where we care about you. Blue. Blue is big. You've got the deep blue sea, the big blue sky, and more people in more countries like blue than any other color. That's big. And in the world of real estate, blue stands for one of the biggest brands. Caldwell Banker. 91,000 agents across 47 countries gives you a super-powered Rolodex and the marketplace muscle of a brand recognized from Indiana to India. So join the blue. Join Caldwell Banker and start doing bigger, better, and bluer things in real estate. Well, I was concerned about the condition the field was going to be in after we had the deluge yeah. Wednesday and Thursday, but it was really uh, not bad at all. No, absolutely. The, the, the field was in great condition. A little soggy, but not, not anything like we've seen in the past. No. And I uh, thought that maybe it speaks a little bit as much to the, uh, uh, to, to, to the drought that we've had for a while, but certainly it was in great condition for a game on Friday night. And was that hashtag keep harming grass? <laughs> yeah, keep harming hashtag keep grass. harming grass. That's right. That's right. First play of the game, just a little quick out here to to uh, Karim. Uh, good good job by Landon. Come back with bug sweep, a little uh, and a play action fake by or a fake by Landon. You saw him throw the ball, throw mm -hmm. his arm, and a good run here. By Jameer, I think he ended up with 100 and 180 yards 180 on 20, yards. about 121 carries. So here's a good replay. Got Manny out in front and Idre uh, with a nice kick block there. You know, speak to a little bit, talking a little bit about comparing the teams. These last couple of games, he's not had some of the long runs that he's had. Kind of hit on that a little bit. Uh, I think you're probably telling him about that. That guy's in front of you. Talk a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Well, the, the, the teams we're playing now, the, 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 these uh, backside people can run. And, and they, when he breaks a run, they'll see him. And you'll, you'll see on the film, well, they'll take an angle downfield. And so they, you've got guys backside spur, backside – uh, corner coming in on the plays, that's right. uh, and they're hustling, and that's they're right. smart, and they're taking great angles. So that's right. Here's power with Maurice. Good job by Brant there in front, pancaking the yeah. linebacker or safety, whatever he was. But we ended up, we got down to the ten and just and backed ourselves up all the way back to the thirty yard line or forty yard line, wherever we ended up. So great job right here by our defense. I thought our our defense had a great game plan. You know, a great team like that, you know, you can't stop them. Uh, but you want to try to stop them in those critical situations. Uh, they, they were very well coached, and they're going to find your weaknesses. But the first couple of series, we were able to go three and out and uh, be able to force a couple of, in, of errant kicks. Got a shank right there. Yep. I was about to catch that and run with it, but decided yeah. against it. I, yeah, and I appreciate you not doing that. Here comes Jet Sweep with uh, Tyler. Excuse me, Hunter. Hunter Nolan. <laughs> Hunter. I'm, back, I'm reverting back to his yep. brother. Good slant right there to Karim and got, got the interference on top of it. See, good throw by Landon. Number nine saying incomplete, but he also <laughs> interfered. Yep. Down to the goal line. Jameer bounces this uh, and gets out to the corner. And then they get a late hit right there. So it moves the ball down to the four yard uh, line. Perfect example. We had a late hit late yeah. in the game. 15 yards. Their late hit, two yards. Yeah, four. Yeah. Good push good right here search. on the quarterback sneak. Uh, Alton was playing some pretty good goal line defense right there, but we got a good push. The plan. I don't think there was any hesitation about going for that unfortunate. No, down, right? no, not at all. Yeah, that's one of those things. Against the good teams like that right there, you need to score touchdowns. You got to score touchdowns. Field goals don't do you any good. That's you right. you got to you got to get those touchdowns when you're down there. And you know, yes, field goals do work, but that's when you we're not in a disc down there. You got you smell it. You got to get it. Great job right here, Caleb Hernandez. I'm so proud of him. He, he, he is hot in the beginning of the season, and he's kind of fell off a little bit. And uh, the last two, three games has really picked it up. Love his energy. Love his passion. That's the kind of stuff you got to have uh, when you play defense. You don't have to be as, as smart maybe as other places, but there you got to be. you got to have some passion, and you got to play hard. You see right there, great job by their offensive line. 
uh, you know, they're, they're physical. And our guys did a great job of holding the line all night long and making them work for every yard, every yard they got. Come back with the power, a good 12, 15-yard gain there for Jameer. Here you see our defensive, defensive coaches right here. And that's a good look of what's going on while that's the right. offense is on. A lot of times these guys don't see the game. They don't yep. see what's going on because they're over there working. Yep. Inside zone right here with Jameer, and there's, there's Brandt falling on Jameer. That's right, good tackle. <laughs> wonder if he got a tackle. So we go into the second quarter, 7 nothing. Yeah, kind of liked where we were at right here. Felt yeah. like we were moving the ball, uh, and then, you know, just hate that right there. Just ball gets away from Landon, and they end up getting it. Great job here by our defense. Christian, uh, Christian Lama had 14 tackles the other night, had a good solid game. Uh, you know, and, we, and, and there's no secrets. You know, great thing about this team is you can practice for what they're going to do. They're not going to change what they do, and they certainly didn't for us. You see right there, a great job. Certainly thought that was a block in the back, but, you know, we don't get those calls on our side, on their sidelines like we might sometimes get on our sidelines. Great point. job, but yeah, great job by Malachi Gray. You cannot believe how tall this guy is. I don't, he did not look that big in film. And this young man right here is one of the top, uh, he is one of the top kickers in the country. He's number one in the state, and he certainly showed it the other night. Even though he missed that one, he had plenty of leg. Here's a good throw and catch to Hunter. Good job of getting himself north after he caught the ball, too. He just Absolutely. started straight up the field. Landon does a nice job standing in there, getting rid of the, rid of the ball. Love those quick reads for Landon. Absolutely. Another one right here. And there's a freshman. Yeah, good hash. Young him out there on the field. That's right. Luke Blanchard. Yep. Jameer kind of backdoored this play. Yeah. And, you know, he's got great vision. Uh, we ended up stalling on the drive and having to punt. Yeah, and right here, this is the kid that's one of the leading receivers in the state. And you'll see him later on come back and basically catch the ball that wins the game for him. Uh, but he is a, a, a just an amazing talent and a lot of speed. Uh, right here, you see him trying to get the ball up to the big boy. And uh, thankfully, he missed it. But also good coverage there by A.J. Hernandez. And so they wind up coming in and getting this little chip shot right here, making the game 7-3. to three. Headed towards halftime. And here comes Luke with a kickoff return. Yeah, good return right here. Yep. He gets right in the meat of it and then gets smacked pretty good. And just hop, but it hops right up. <laughs> but it hops right back up. That's right. That's He's kind of a go. welcome to 6A, right? That's right. That's right. So great job. You'll see right here another thing. You see a good tackle, a good block right there by Vincent Vigne uh, and Caleb Hernandez. Two great punches right there that gets a little hope opening for him and that uh, gets him up into the middle. So we end up having to kick right here. Great job by J.J. Robledo, our kicker the other night. Did an outstanding job uh, getting the ball out in a lot of situations. Once again right here, good pressure, forces a quick throw, an errant throw behind, and uh, love to see that right there. Good job right here. You see our defense. A little holding there, which they didn't call. Good job by John Ross, pushing him out of the, forced him out of the pocket. Then they had the uh, young man come back in and, and uh, thankfully came in a little bit short. Tried a little Auburn kick six there, <laughs> obviously. A little harder to do in high school, but at the end of the day, uh, 20 to uh, right at the seven to three with uh, the halftime coming up. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. Hi, I'm Dr. Reginald Sherrill. Are you tired of sweaty underarms and dealing with deodorant stains on your clothes? We're performing a procedure called Mirror Dry. It's safe, non-invasive, sweat and odor free, deodorant free. It is clinically proven and FDA approved. I've had the procedure and it really works. The procedure takes about one hour, it's local anesthesia and works immediately. Call our office, Dalton Plastic Surgery, 706-226-226. 
So they take the opening kickoff and actually get a pretty good return, but they hit a couple of plays. Right here you see Tyson Swope uh, having a solid game for us. Uh, and Coy Gray inside, Ryan LaRue. Great pressure again by Caleb Hernandez. Great blitz call by Coach Carpenter right there. Love seeing him lose that yardage right there and get the ball back. You'll see it right here. Comes off the backside. Great job. Great job right there. Very impressive thing, though, there. You saw number 17. Missed the block. Gets down, does his 10 push-ups. Yeah, gets right back in line. There goes Demirian on defense. There's Vince getting That's the sideline right. pumped up. Get everybody up. pumped up. That's good. Good coverage right here. Great job right there by Jameer. Got number one, cover number one. So they wind up punting the ball inside the five. Yeah, that was one thing. We did not field all those punts the other night. And this one, they got down there, uh, got us backed up. Now here is Jameer again out the back door. And this is one of the things we talked about. That's number 31. That's one of their uh, backside ends. Backside end, hustling down the field. You see them down here on the yeah, bottom. And, and I think the thing to make it, they are faster than what we've played, obviously, particularly right. early in the season. And you can tell right here. But I think the other thing is how well coached they are. You made the comment, you can see from our wide angle, as soon as Jameer starts the other side, they don't waste their time. They open those shoulders, and they're running to the back pylon of the end zone. Right. They're trying to get that super angle, and they certainly have a do, do a good job of it. Good kick, good coverage right Absolutely here. right there. Good job getting our guys down there. Hard play right here. Coming in the middle, you see a good job right there. Gabe Hill uh, coming up. He and uh, Christian Lama. Uh, and Lane Cox. Lane had a solid game for us the other night. And right here you see a, a fumble. Great job by our, our defense getting that ball out. Uh, kind of a funny thing when you see it right here. Uh, it's kind of an inadvertent fumble. Uh, one of our guys gets basically just gets hammered right here. Uh, and his helmet comes in and knocks it out. And you'll see him, boom, right there. But a great job by our defense scooping and trying to score with it. So give us the ball back. Puts the ball right on the 44-yard line, if I'm not mistaken. Coming back with Jameer, hard yards right there. I mean, he got 180 yards, but some of them were tough. I mean, yeah, yeah, we really tried to stay on the perimeter. Yeah. I mean, they were, we knew they'd be big and strong, and they would load the box inside. And here's the play we here's talked about. Here's the play we talked about. Here you see Landon looking, you see him diving for the first down. Not sliding, but diving head first. And that's a young man who's, who's had a back injury. And uh, I really like the way his teammates are down there hugging him. I mean, this is a 10-yard run, nothing – but look at the reaction of Maurice and Absolutely. You see Ozzie coming in and uh, Saul and some of the other guys. That's, that's good there behind their quarterback. Absolutely. And it was a key component yeah. right here. Great job by Maurice. Yeah, good job by Maurice. Good hard yards right there. So we're matriculating down the ball down the field, as Hank Stram used to say. Good job right here. We pull everybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> band director, the whole crowd. Crowd anybody that come with us, we that's pull. Right. So you got. Three offensive linemen and a running back out in front of him. Good block by Brant right there. Yep. And then good job, Jameer, just getting in the end zone. Once again, 31 again from the back side. So. Yep. <laughs> so at this point, you know, you, you, you feel pretty good. 14-3. 14 14 to three. To three. Our goal was to try to stay two, you know, two touchdowns out, or two scores out in front. But on the very next possession, a key first down, we kind of give ourselves away and come back and get them, let them have that big shot. So yeah. now it's 14-10. to 10. We go three and out, put the ball to them, come back here, and they drive the ball down on us and eat a lot of the clock up and wind up taking the ball in on this score right here, go up 14, 17 to 14. Uh, with about certainly grab the momentum of the game. Too. Absolutely, absolutely. Here comes Jameer. Good return. Absolutely. And the official goes down. Good protection. Good throw and catch right yeah, there. Yeah, good throw and catch. But we end up having a kick, just stalling out. Good job of their guy fielding the punt. Absolutely. Here you see our defense. They do a good job of getting some pressure on him real quick. Right here they try to run to the back, so run outside. You see right here Christian Arnold cutting through, knifing through. And a great play right there. Really, really great play. Once again, big hit by Gabe right there. Forces a, a quick throw and good coverage by Malachi Gregory. Staying out in front of him. Coming back. With Jameer on the buck sweep. Again, we got a punt. Game's getting short now. 
Yeah. And you know, there's some questions. Should we go for it out there and, you know, go back to 2006, I mean, yeah. 2017? We did that down there, and they, they had the ability to, to do some things that we didn't want them to do. So, really felt like our defense was playing well enough we could get a stop. Big hit right here by Gabe Hill. That was a big you hit. see him coming in right there and just gets a key pop. You'll see him right here coming off the edge. Boom. I mean, he whips that head good. That right is there. a form tackle. That face, is, that's face as good up. as it gets. That's exactly right. And then once again, right here, you see him trying to work down the line. Great effort played by Lane Cox. I tell you, Lane, Lane's one of those guys that just kind of that look just describes him right there. He's mm -hmm. a grinder. Right here, really wished we would have came outside right there, forced the punt a little bit kicker, I mean, a little quicker. Uh, but once again, you see a, a, a shank, and he's able to now get us the ball up at a, a you know, decent field position now. Good double reverse pass. Uh, Boy, this is close. Oh, it's right there. Right it's, there. Ah, right in the hands. It's tough. But Karim's a sophomore, hard worker. Did yep. a great job, though. Great job. And that was a fourth down play right there. Good play by 31. Yeah, it was the play the we wanted. That yep. was certainly the play we wanted. But once again, and you see once again, Coach Varner and their, their staff, uh, just a great job out of both teams. Uh, and, you know, certainly I think still two, two, two of the best teams. Absolutely. Why should you make the switch to First Bank of Dalton? My bank gives back to our community. My bank understands our changing needs. My bank made my dream home my home. My bank has the tools I need to manage my business. My bank helps me save. My bank make decisions locally. Need more reasons? Stop by and see why First Bank of Dalton should be your bank for life. Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Are you tired of driving to Chattanooga to have a great dinner? Look no further than Walnut Hill Farm right here in Whitfield County. We are now serving dinner on Thursday and Friday nights. Our team of Matt Barrett and Jason Joseph have put together what we believe is the finest menu in Whitfield County. With a wine selection of over 50 bottles and 50 miles of mountain range in the background, this will be your go-to for romantic dinners and dinner with friends. We look forward to seeing you out here, five o'clock on Thursday and Friday nights. All right, Coach, we traveled down to Osborne this week. Um, last year we played them, and they just weren't very good. Yeah. But they have improved, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can see them on film. They, they, have, they have improved a great deal over what we saw yeah. last year. Yeah, and, and that's the thing that I think you have to understand. New coach comes into a new program. The number one thing that he says is, you've got to change culture. That's, that's number one. Right. Well, the school buys into that. And so then you certainly see a change in not only, because they're actually very good in their other sports, baseball, basketball, the girls, the girls sports, they're very, very good in. Um, so track, so this kind of like falls into that. So, okay, we've got the culture established. We just need to bring the rest of our, our, our sports up to that and bring football up to it. Well, then the school gets involved and they start putting a lot of money into the school. And so you've seen a regeneration of the school. They literally took the footprint of the school, demolished half the school, rebuilt that half, Moved the kids over, demolished the other half, rebuilt that half. Oh, it's I didn't no, know that. Yeah. Wow. So you, you, it's a, the school is new, the field is new, and uh, like I said, so so there's a lot of excitement there. A lot of uh, the community that area, that Campbell, Smyrna, that area, that kind of feeds into that. That's certainly in Creven as well. If you've been down there of late. So yeah. Point being, yeah, there's a lot of good things going on. There's a lot of good synergy there, uh, and it's a team that I think we're going to, you know, when you look at them kind of back to the prior segment. This is a team that has the capability to beat anybody on right. any given night. It's, do they believe in themselves? How well do they play? Where are they playing? What's the weather like? And so like I said, all those things are beyond our control. All we can worry about is what we can do. What do you see out of them defensively? Defensively, they'll run a lot of different fronts. They'll be 3-3, three, three, or excuse me, 3-4, four, 4-2, four, Bayer front, five-man front. Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to prepare um, for all three of those at looks and work the kids with them, which is good because uh, when you head into the playoffs, you don't know what you're going to see. That's so right. it's nice to work against some different fronts this week. Good. Offensively, you're talking about a team that uh, has had some success 
Obviously, speed is not something they're lacking, so they're going to try to get on the flanks as fast as they can. They like to give you unbalanced sets, a lot of motions, try to outflank you and just try to get the ball to the outside perimeter. From a special team standpoint, they'll be an average high school program, so something you'd see on most mm -hmm. Friday nights. But like I said, overall, much improved program and somebody that we're going to need to really spend some time, spend a lot of time preparing for this week. All right, very good. We'll be back in just a minute. Hi, my name is Charles R. Hicks Sr. I'm the owner of Transformers Transmission Complete All Repair Specialist and we are excited. It is football season. Another thing that we're excited about is our new facility opening here at 844 Sugar Road in Dalton, Georgia. Our other location at 815 East Walnut Avenue is still open to help continue your car service. So just give us a call at 706-529-2706 and from the Transformers family, God, God bless, bless and, and have, have a beautiful, beautiful day. day. With VidLink, OptiLink's exciting new entertainment platform, you'll have the freedom to stream VidLink content on multiple devices, even when away from home. Plus, with VidLink, you can access the widest array of content on the market. You'll get great features like Restart, Replay, Cloud-based DVR storage, all HD programming, and so much more. Contact us today to see how you can get linked to the next big thing in video entertainment. Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com why should you make the switch to First Bank of Dalton? My bank gives back to our community. My bank understands our changing needs. My bank made my dream home my home. My bank has the tools I need to manage my business. My bank helps me save. My bank make decisions locally. Need more reasons? Stop by and see why First Bank of Dalton should be your bank for life. Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Are you tired of driving to Chattanooga to have a great dinner? Look no further than Walnut Hill Farm right here in Whitfield County. We are now serving dinner on Thursday and Friday nights. Our team of Matt Barrett and Jason Joseph have put together what we believe is the finest menu in Whitfield County. With a wine selection of over 50 bottles and 50 miles of mountain range in the background, this will be your go-to for romantic dinners and dinner with friends. We look forward to seeing you out here, 5 o'clock on Thursday and Friday nights. All right, we're back to close up the show. And Coach, let's talk real quick about where we are. Uh, realistically, this is at the first playoff game for us. Yeah. If we, if we yeah. don't win, we're out. Right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. So that, that start it all starts right there. Yeah, and, and and there's no reason to look to me to look at it any other way because you have such a similar situation from this point on. Because of where we would be seated, assuming that we make the playoffs, uh, you're going to be for sure a four seed. There's a couple of scenarios that would have to create, it would have to happen for us to be a three seed. So with that being the case, those scenarios are based on us beating Osborne. So there's no reason for us to shoulda, woulda, coulda, That's go right. fishing in the aquarium. We back it up, okay, six playoff games starting this week. Got to win this week, that's number one. We win, we're in, and we don't worry about who's what. Feel pretty safe we know what we're going to play in. We're going to be lined up with Region 8, so you know you're going to get one of the top two teams, mm -hmm. which is going to be either Decula or Lanier. But at the end of the day, you're on the road from this point on all the way through the state championship, assuming that you're, you're blessed and so, lucky so enough. So all our fans need to, get to get change the oil in their cars, check the, yeah, check the air the in their tires, and tires rotated. That's check right, the wiper man. blades, and, that's right. and get ready to hit on the road. That's right. right. I mean, and you, we've got to become road warriors for the next uh, six weeks. And, I, you know, that's, that's the mentality we talked about as a staff today in our, in our coaching meeting that we're going to try to create amongst our players is that, hey, it is what it is. You know, we make choices. Choices make you. We are what we are. So we move forward knowing that now mm -hmm. we've got six away games. So what does that mean? Mom and dads get ready to take Fridays 
off. Let's get on the road. Let's get behind those buses. You know, community. Want to get as many people out as we can support them. The band will obviously be on the road and they'll be playing, doing their thing. And cheerleaders, we really need to get our Catamount family to support us and get on the road with us. And you know, be interesting to see how this thing goes from this point out. Uh, certainly, there's a lot of excitement in our locker room with our players getting ready to play. A very big game. Why don't you just touch real quick? We don't have much left, but just on what the schedule is when we have when, and kind of explain to, yeah. to, to folks what's involved with us loading up and headed to yeah. Atlanta or wherever. Well, we're very blessed because our quarterback booster club provides charter buses for us. Anytime we go on the road, kind of outside of Calhoun, Northwest, right. any of our immediate circle, uh, they, they want us traveling on charter buses, which certainly creates a good environment for our kids as we travel. You know, the big thing is, is you got to get out of school early, so that means you have to get out around 2 o'clock, 2.15. At that point, we like to bring the kids in. We have a pregame meal, have their devotion, and then we like to go down and, and, and pack the bus, get, and get the bus ready to leave. And then that could depend on traffic. So it could be a 45-minute, 55-minute, hour-minute trip, or it could be a two-hour trip. It just kind of depends on what part of Atlanta you're going into. Now, once you get into the playoffs and you begin to start making those travels to South Georgia, now you're talking about leaving the early morning, 10 o'clock, and then you got a lunch, and you got to have a walk through somewhere on the way. So it gets a little more complicated than just traveling in our region right now. But for right now, 2 o'clock, we get the kids out, get to working, and get ready to play a game at 7.30. And then after the game, they provide uh, Crosslands. Favorite. <laughs> favorite thing. It's a little red and white box with a, with a kernel That's on there. Right. The greatest initials in the world, KFC. And have that box of chicken when the game's over with. It's Absolutely. awesome. All right. Well, let's wrap up like we always do and say we'll be back next week. Same cat time, same cat channel. Go Big Red.